guys, so I am here to do a updated daily makeup routine. Last time I did this was like beginning of the school year last year and my makeup last year was literally like a child. So now I've glowed up, literally, um, and I'm here to just give you what I've been doing. Um, my makeup changes like every single day, so this is just like basically what I do, like most days. So, yeah, keep watching if you want to see it. Click out if you don't want to see it. Live your life. Yeah, here it is. See ya. Okay, I'm just going to do like kind of a talk through just because that's way easier. So first, I'm going to be going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Base Primer. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream in the color... I think it's literally the palest one. It doesn't say a color, but yeah. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I've been mixing um, the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Deauville, and then I mix this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in... Buff, buff beige so just put that on the back of my hand and then I buff it in with this MAC 130 so that MAC brush leaves the foundation still pretty streaky so um, I'm just gonna buff it in or pat it into my skin with a damp beauty blender Now I'm going to go in with concealer. First, I'm going to use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla. And then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Brightener Illuminator. So next I'm just going to prime my eyes using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion um just so that it is it just so that ha just so that it has time to set on my eyes before I put on eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to bake my face using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, like everyone does. And then I'm going to take my same, like, kind of still damp beauty blender and just pack it into the areas where I... Oh my god! Oh my god! Even the babies are one of the most dangerous animals in the world, so I built this cage to keep them secure so there's no possible... Oh my god! Got it everywhere. Um... I'm just going to pack it into the areas where I just put my concealer. Now I'm going to zoom in and do my brows. So I'm going to take this Anastasia number 12 brush. It has like a pointed end and a spoolie end. And just brush out. And obviously going to take my dip brow pomade and medium brown. Okay, I'm just going to brush away this crazy baking using this Sephora giant powder brush. And now using the same powder brush, I'm just going to take this uh, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Tinted HD Powder. Um, it's like a loose powder, so it's like a little harder to work with. But I'm just going to powder the rest of my face using that. Now I'm going to bronze up my ghosty face using my Marc Jacobs Contouring Palette. So it's fine, it's good. Um, I'm just gonna take my MAC 134 
and just bronze up my whole face using obviously the bronzing side. Now I'm going to contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to be just like mixing all three of the contour shades and I'm going to use my MAC, let me add it rubbed off, I think this was the 109 but I'm not totally sure, I think it was though. Now that that's done, I guess I'm going to go into the eyes. I'm going to highlight later because you got to make sure the highlight is popping. So I literally do that dead last. So I'm going to be using this Tarte in Bloom palette. Tartlet in Bloom palette. And to just use as a base, I'm going to be going in with these two colors, which is Flower Child and Smarty Pants. And I'm going to use my MAC 224 to just throw that all over the lid. And then I'm just going to take the same brush and then I'm going to take the color Charmer, this one, oh, okay. Uh, Charmer, which is this one right here, whatever, if it'll focus. I'm just going to throw that um, above where we put that, just like closer to the brow bone. Oh my, God, my brows are so gnarly, I forgot to address that. But they're really gross, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now I'm just going to take this color uh, Sweetheart and I'm going to mix it a little with Rebel, which is this next one, and I'm going to take my MAC 217 and just throw that in my crease, like kind of as a transition shade. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Rebel this like second darkest one on the bottom and I'm gonna take my elf I don't even blending eye brush literally a dollar and just throw that kind of lower in my crease okay so next I'm just going to pack this shade right here called funny girl all over the lid using my Mac 247 Now I'm going to take this Princessa, what even are you, I think you were a dollar, um, angled shadow brush and I'm going to take this darkest shade called Leader and throw that into my outer V and a little into that crease. Now I'm going to blend that out um, just using Charmer, what I used before, just to like make that line a little smoother. So now for the worst part of my day, I'm going to do eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner and try and do a wing on camera without um, having a heart attack. So yeah. I'm just gonna pretend that it's all okay and um, that that looks fine. Um, so uh, next, I'm gonna be putting on these lashes. These are they're gonna fall off, but they're the just random. There's these random eye lore ones, but I really love them. They're really they might be called like texture or something. I don't know, but they look like this. If that helps, I don't really know. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be taking this duo black eyelash glue and just putting those on. I have literally <clears throat> let this get tacky for like a minute and a half or I'll still literally fly all over the world. So hopefully it'll be okay. I just center it with the middle of my eyeball. I can't talk. You have to be careful with this black lash glue. Like it'll play you so hard. Ow. While these are drying, I'm not even gonna like touch the eye area RN. I'm gonna do highlight, which is my favorite part. Um, I'm gonna go in with a few highlights. I literally layer like 40 and my eyes are watering. Awesome. Um, I literally layer like 40. So first I'm gonna go in with this random one I got from Super Drug the other day. It's Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin. It's actually really pretty. Like it was three pounds, so I was like, hey. Also my voice, am I a boy? Um, let me know. Um, so I'm gonna take this MAC 
137 and just do that first so just swirl it around you know and this just gives me like a base to the glow and then now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia highlight in starlight also very gorgeous same brush bop it on there now I'm gonna go in with the big daddy the sleek highlighting palette which I just had in my last video whoa am I a 13 year old boy <clears throat> excuse um, I'm just gonna mix these two colors and I'll go in with my Sonia Kashuk fan brush from Target low and just go through both of those and come through with that love now lastly i literally glow my entire face um so i'm gonna take this elf flawless concealer brush i didn't even know it's so good for highlight from target if you need it um and do that cupid's bow love oh my god that was so crazy it looks like snot coming out my nose but i don't really care um and then that nose highlight down the bridge and on the little tippy um, and then even though I said I didn't want to touch my eye area, I'll just come through with that eyebrow highlight and then I'll throw it in that inner corner. I'll play with fire here. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm just gonna talk through the rest. I'm not gonna speed through anymore. Um, I'm just gonna come through with my Tartlet palette again and use the two darkest shades. Um, I'll take the same e.l.f. brush that we used earlier with the lighter one, Rebel. And just pop it. Under there. Now I'm going to take another e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. smudge brush. And take this darker color leader. And just, oh. Go a little closer to the lash line with that. Looks like an anime character without bottom mascara on. Um, speaking of bottom mascara, I'm going to take this MAC Upward Lash in black and just throw that on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this MAC doesn't say what it is, but it's this mascara and just blend my falsies and my real lashes. Last but not least for the lips, I'm going to go in with this NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. Now I'm just going to set my face using... MAC Fix Plus, duh. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking through with all my losses and failures, aka every single part of my makeup that I tried to do today. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial, talk through, whatever. Um, comment below if you want to see any more videos. I mean, obviously I'm going to make more videos, but comment below if there's anything specific you want to see. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm Audi. Have a hot date with the Apple store because my phone is a uh, piece of elephant poo. So, Love, okay, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. See ya. Bye.